back him up, pray for him, and help him however I can. Help him as in not being part of the ministry, help making sure the different jobs aren't maybe kind of covered, mm -hmm. distributing the literature, trying to win souls. Yeah. Sometimes I think if only everybody lived the way we lived in our ministry, the world would be perfect. They wouldn't have any crimes, no crime scene. Mm -hmm. Nobody would ever be hurt. Yeah. Anybody doesn't like it, they just walk out. Mm -hmm. Free to go if they want to. Do you need some more? Would you like me to get you some more water? All right now. Okay. And is there anything else? Just I was just letting you just let you talk. Right. I don't else? have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> and we're only not. I mean, I'm alright talking. Someone starts me out. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Talk. <laughs> yeah. Um. One thing I, I just wanted to ask, uh, what about, I know you said yesterday you were there when the FBI came. How often do you go to uh, FALC? To, to uh, every day. Every day? Yeah. Um, most, almost, almost every day. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when you're there? Um, I go to the kitchen and eat breakfast. I go and do like, the office work, mail and stuff. And mm -hmm. I go... You know, just go to lunch, go tie, go sometimes go to town and run errands and like maybe some purchasing or mm -hmm. with my mom. We go out to the park to go witnessing or you know, there's people there usually so mm -hmm. we witnessing or just different stuff. It may not sound like a lot, but it really does all tie together. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, um, that's that's why I'm just kind of understanding. You're helping me understand. So. And we go to church at night, eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. And is that every night? Yes. Yeah. And tell me what church is like. Well, we go in since the pastor's not there. We we pick like there's people, brothers and sisters. We pick someone to open, someone to give a message. Mm -hmm. People in the congregation come up and give testimonies of like of the Lord, like how they've been saved or just anything that they have that they want to say. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well we pray, and then we have three congregational songs where a leader, a song leader, gets up and sings like some songs, like sometimes old-fashioned gospel songs, mm -hmm. some newer, some you know. We all sing together, and then there's girls choir who goes up and sings a song. Um, and then maybe there's some people that have solo songs. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's the song service. And then we have responses from all over the world, from the literature, like, you know, like I said, Africa, India, Asia, Israel, Europe, South America, mm -hmm. Australia. We have them from all over the world saying how they got the literature this way or that way. And they read it and they shared it with their friends and this many people got saved. It's like, they're all excited, they want more, mm -hmm. anyways, things like that. Then after that we have testimonies, we, we usually four people, a couple, of, a couple brothers and a couple of sisters get together testimonies. Then we have an offering song, and no one's forced to give money, we just have it in case anybody feels like they want to. Mm -hmm. And and then we read prayer requests for anybody that has requested to be prayed for. Mm -hmm. physical problems, any kind of problems, someone's sick, we all pray together with them, for them. And we have the message and someone usually reads out the Bible or something. Okay. And then we go out and eat dinner. And where do you eat dinner? In the cafeteria, it's right out. In okay. So is that where you eat all of your meals? Yeah. Okay. Ever, like, I know you live here in Dextrocana, do you mm -hmm. ever eat in your own in Dextrocana? If I'm there, but I'm usually in Pope. Yeah. Plus the food's good there. <laughs> what kind of food do you have? Well, we don't eat 
beef and dairy and pork. We have like, um, usually on Sundays we'll have like turkey, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, vegetable, cranberry mm -hmm. sauce. We have dessert every day. And then other meals will be like, you know, chicken, potatoes, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different meals. We eat fish too, mm -hmm. certain fish. And a good cook. Who cooks your food? Her name is Linda. Well, there's a few people, Linda, Kathy, and there's some brothers to help with the pots. Mm -hmm. And Kathy is a cook at a restaurant. Yeah. Linda, I don't know where she can cook. She's good enough. Mm -hmm. What are your beliefs so far as, I know we talked about marriage all ago, and as purity, and as far as I, your belief is that you wouldn't think bad of someone if, if they were, if they were, uh, it's not a Bible. Right, okay. It's not against the Bible. What about, um, I'm getting kind of chilly in here. Are you okay? Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about as far as like who they can marry? Is there, what does the Bible teach about? Who's, is it? it doesn't say who you can marry. Okay. What about like ages? Does it, is that okay? What? As far as like if someone, whatever, like is there a certain age? They have to be, or can be, or does it matter the ages of someone else? As long as they're old enough, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as they're old enough, like just say 18, mm -hmm. whoever they want to marry, they can marry. Yeah. So I marry somebody that may be older and more mature mm -hmm. and kind of has things. Even sometimes a man chooses to marry a woman older than him. Mm -hmm. and they want to do it. It's their choice. Mm -hmm. So if it was someone. If it was someone that was at the age of 18, you know, the law says, but the Bible says and that's okay, they, they choose to. But then they wait. They wait just till they're 18. Yeah, they wait. To raise someone, even if it was like an older, mature person. Yeah. Okay. Where was your mom and dad at um, yesterday? Yeah, sure. My dad probably was home sleeping because he works at night. Okay. And my mom's, I don't know what she did yesterday. She might have been at work. The store she works at. The thrift store, you said? Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me a little bit more about your mom and dad. Have they always lived here? Like, they're... My mom comes from Pennsylvania. My dad comes from Detroit, Michigan. And when my mom was 16, her dad and mom had a divorce. Mm -hmm. She lived with her dad. She ran away and went to her mom. And I guess when she was 18, she hitchhiked, hitchhiked and something made her want to go to California, so she went there. Mm -hmm. And she was given a piece of gospel literature from this ministry. Back then it was telling me Susan Oral mm -hmm. Christian Foundation, Susan with Lyman. So she went to church and she um, she said she was looking for the truth, something to live for. Mm -hmm. So she went to services. She got pre you know, she got preached to and she believed and she was, you know, she wanted to get saved, she got saved and after that she I guess we should all have moved into the ministry, like, became not a member, you don't have to be a member, I mean, like, you know, how you, like, um, just, like, live with us and mm -hmm. come to church and participate in, like, work, help work and, you know, just become part of the ministry. Mm -hmm. And my dad, same thing basically happened to him. He and a friend actually got a break from work. They kicked two weeks vacation or something, so they went to California, because back then, I guess, was when the whole thing was going on in California. It was all kinds of stuff going on there. So he went he went over there and he got a piece of literature too. Mm -hmm. He went to church and he didn't want to go back to his job. <laughs> he started I'm going back and he said, well, you're going to have to fly or something because my dad drove away. He said, I'm staying here. Mm -hmm. He was into the ministry and then my mom and dad met in the church, got married. What church did they meet in? In the church in Los Angeles. Okay. And what brought them here to Dexter Canada? Mm. They came with the ministry. I guess a, a ministry opened up, like opened down here. Mm -hmm. There wasn't many people. They wanted. They 